Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful soul tribe, soul family. This is a reading for all. This is a collective reading that I am tapping into today. So I will, each and every one of you souls who have made it this far, who have found the need to click play on this video, just know it was divine timing and in divine order. There is a message. Even if it is of the smallest detail, if it resonates, that was your message. I thank you all for being here. If you are new to all of my beloveds who are returning, you already know what it is. Beloved to love is love is love. I want to send, um, you know, a lot of love to each and every one of you beautiful souls who have been on the platform, who have consistently showed love, who have patronized my Etsy shop, who have booked consultations with me. I want you to know the love is infinite. It rotates right back to you. I appreciate each and every one of you all. So if you are new, welcome to the Soul Tribe. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath. I am also clairaudient. So during this reading, you will hear me playing music and the way that it works. The name of the song, lyrics within the song, maybe even the artist or the time stamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what may be, uh, you know, coming out with the tarot cards. And it all just blends very beautifully. If I do say so myself, you know what I'm talking about. But it is just a beautiful way that spirit communicates. Um, there's also uh, my spiel that you need to take into consideration. If the reading does not apply, just let it fly by. You know, in other words, eat the fish, spit out the bones. Ashe, I don't need no nasty grams. I don't need no backstories, history lessons. I, I, I you know, I, I send love and light, beloved, love and light. So, you know, if it doesn't apply, just keep it pushing. You know, find, you know, what your other placements may be. Check your other signs. Perhaps check, you know, your sun, your rising, uh, your moon. You know, check other placements so that you can get a clear and concise message for you, Ashe. Uh, my readings are timeless. So whenever this video has found you or whenever you have chosen to click play, whether it was a year from now, three months, two weeks, a uh, day from now. It was all divine timing and in divine order for you to have done so. So, beloveds, before I delve into the reading and proceed with the read, uh, I like to usually, like, you know, give you a little consensus of what I'm feeling energetically. Uh, and, and oftentimes I'd be right on the mark um, with what comes out in the cards. Everything that I have said before the read always comes out in the reading. So, uh, what I'm feeling right now, especially with so much uh, energy, so much powerful energy coming uh, on the 20th, we have that solar eclipse that's happening. The 21st is the beginning of Mercury retrograde. Beloved, the energy is intense right now. Um, and all I'm hearing is during this time, it is very imperative. It is very crucial you know, and critical for you to listen to your intuition and make sure you can decipher between your intuition and perhaps that negative Nancy that be up in your head, you know, because we all know that the mind is the devil's playground. So there could be some things that you might start tripping on, you know, you may feel you're tripping, but you have to be able to decipher which direction you are to go because I feel like your intuition is going to lead you on the path you're meant to be whereas there could be some other underlying energy that be, could be trying to derail you or to distract you off your path so it is very critical and imperative to know um you know which direction or to be able to stand firm I should say in your 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 stance stand firm in what you believe what you know what you feel that gumption that inner wisdom uh trust what you feel in your gut because your gut your stomach is like your second brain so i feel like trusting your intuition is going to be very very critical uh especially when you consider like you know the solar eclipse and what that energy represents you know the the, the sun 
um, provides illumination, it provides clarity. Uh, and when there is an eclipse, it's like there's something trying to cover, uh, cover up, you know, it's like covering up, uh, you know, another um, aspect or, or, or perspective of yourself. So we have to be able to, you know, look at things from a bird's eye view to be able to analyze perhaps going within meditating right now is going to be very critical i'm also hearing uh fasting uh so perhaps starting to fast tomorrow maybe even tonight if you haven't eaten already but it is very imperative to fast because i feel like when you fast you are more connected to your spiritual self to your higher self um, and you will receive downloads uh, straight from spirit divine intervention straight from spirit because you're lighter you know um, when you have other things kind of weighing you down your, your, your spirit cannot like ascend and and it cannot um, it's not as light you know what I'm saying so perhaps fasting even if you're not fasting like no food at all but just fasting like during those hours of ramadan like you know from sun up to sundown and then you get a little meal and you know in between maybe a shake maybe a salad maybe you make you know a little trail mix with some yogurt on the side who knows but like light i'm just hearing light i'm hearing fast um definitely drink more water water is very essential right now as well um be sure to get outside at least once a day um, get outside, breathe fresh air before those planes get to flying and polluting the air and the atmosphere, before the cars get to getting on the road and p polluting the air and the atmosphere with all that exhaust, uh, before other people start coming out with their energy, like just get out in nature, um, be around the trees, watch the sunrise and get your body into that circadian rhythm so that you can be in sync in the frequency of the sun in the frequency of that celestial energy because as i said that solar eclipse is really about illuminating and, and, and exposing things perhaps things you may have been blind to or not privy to or unaware of uh, maybe things that were uh, being hidden from you will be exposed during this time uh, but it's very very critical uh, and very essential for your well-being, for your ascension, for your elevation and growth um, to really just utilize this time to go within the self and to purge, beloved. It's, it's very in, uh, important to purge. Um, this is spring cleaning time and spring cleaning isn't just in pertinence to cleaning your household. It's about cleaning your vessel as well, your, your temple. Um, getting rid of the old ideologies, belief systems, habits, behaviors, thought processes, people, uh, jobs, you know, getting rid of things that no longer serve you or no longer will fit into this new paradigm that you are creating or calling in or in, in intentionally manifesting. So there's things that are going to be purged or that needs to be purged, which is why it's very essential for you to take this time to go within the self. So distractions, other people's commentary, other people's you know communication at this time needs to be blocked between now and perhaps next week but there is a very important time to go within the self mercury going retrograde could also mean there's a lot of things from your past that could start resurfacing uh you know maybe there's residual energy there still lingering which is why it's coming up so that could be something spirit is telling you it's time for you to reassess to assess uh whether or not that's something you're completely over healed from whether this is something you need to re-look uh you know reapproach, you know or, or or perhaps um you know, repair. Uh, but this is really a critical time for each of us to start assessing and doing those self audits and um, really taking that time to reflect and gain an awareness of where we are by being with ourselves in that hermit mode type of energy uh, where we're going within. You know, uh, we have all the time in the world to be without, you know, going external to self, you know, um, outside of ourselves. Because whether you have a job, you got to put on this face, you got to wear a mask, you got to be someone different than who you may be in your personal life. So there's a lot of different 
different things pulling tugging on your energy but you never really have that time unless you make it to really connect and ground with yourself so that's why meditating is imperative that's why going out in nature and connecting with mother Gaia and grounding yourself whether you know going to a body of water and doing rituals or whether you have altars in your home the connection between yourself and spiritual self and your higher self and your angels ancestors guides is essential you have to develop that connection you have to create that um, you know that connection as well you have to nurture it uh, the same way you expect them to come up show up like super savior when you go into a cir circumstance you have to uh, devote time in developing you know that relationship with your angels your guides with yourself with your your spirit team um, and and they will get you through that's where the divine interventions come from through meditation you know what I'm talking about like that's where those synchronicities come from whether it be numbers angel numbers as they call it whether it be going outside and seeing the same you know animal totem three days seven days in a row whether it be just a download you receive or a thought that just pops up those aren't just happenstances or coinky dinks that spirit connecting with you nudging you and telling you keep the path keep going the path keep going the distance keep braving your life keep pushing yourself um, so there's really this beautiful energy of um, you know going on a new voyage uh, in a completely different mindset in a completely different space uh, you know mentally emotionally and spiritually and I feel like that could be the reason why there could be uh, some things resurfacing because you're embarking on this new precipice and there the ego does not want to to be wrong you know what I'm saying and, and it damn sure don't want to be changed it wants to stay the way it is it's very fixed and you know it, it wants what it wants how it wants it but when you start making changes or when you start um, elevating you know that's why I said sometimes we listen to the wrong side or the wrong voice uh, because the mind is the devil's playground and when you're changing or attempting to change there are certain aspects of you that may not want that change it may like it the way it is right now so you know at the end of the day beginning of the day uh, we all have to trust our own intuition yes so that is what I am gathering intuition is very important at this time for uh, time for you to pay attention so nine must be essential that must be a number that's going to be um, uh, um, important during this reading you know it may resonate with some of you maybe some of you were bur born on the ninth uh, day or in the ninth month or maybe you're a life path number nine or maybe some of you all uh, nine is associated with the hermit as I was speaking of earlier so you could be in that that time out in that hermit uh, stage where you've detached and unplugged already from the outside world or the matrix uh, so you already could be in that status of really just doing that introspect introspective work or that reflective work or just gaining a whole new awareness and understanding of the self um, and thank you Incubation, you know what I'm talking about or maybe there's this this energy of you really working very hard very studiously very diligently towards your goal and you are now really enjoying and and and, and reaping the rewards of your hard work so you may be seeing you know some sort of um, pay increases maybe if you have businesses your business your sales are picking up uh, you may be having more um, flow you know more traction or more traffic uh, at your site so maybe you you're starting to see yourself um, you know gaining more attention on your your social media platforms maybe your your views are, are, are like skyrocketing or maybe you're getting subscribers out of the wazoo or maybe you have followers on Instagram and there's just whatever the case may be it's like I see growth I see things picking up I see with that nine of Pentacles you're very in you're very comfortable where you are this is really about you um, whether it's self-love self-discipline your accomplishments uh, you now are self-aware uh, you've reached that level of self mastery you're in that pre-emperor status if you're in that nine of Pentacles because you are learning you are the magi the alchemist you are the conduit of change you are um, you know the one that sets the intention to master manifest so now that you know that you're putting all of your intention all of your power into whatever it is you're creating uh, that nine is very um, indicative of change it's the highest number of change um, it really speaks to birthing new ideas or something that you've been working on is is about to um, 
really become very successful. You're going to see a lot of fortune, perhaps fame, recognition. You could be in the spotlight, uh, but there's just this energy of your hard work paying off. I'm also getting nine of cups, as I said, like just really, really focusing on loving yourself more, really focused on prioritizing what you want, really focused on, you know, just, just, um, being a healthier version of yourself uh, and this is beautiful energy perhaps you're very guarded uh, from other people um, you know because maybe in the past you could have got burned by some folks so now you're really just you know the boundaries are set uh, and you're not really you know opened to new connections at this time because it's really been about just rebuilding rebuilding yourself rebuilding um, you know this this uh, foundation uh, so that you can have that legacy so that you could you know grow that family so that you can build healthier relationships you have to have something that you can stand firm on first and foremost um, that nine really is you know about self-sufficiency as well uh, you know your independence is the foundation for your happiness your success and all of you know your your dreams hopes and desires coming into fruition because you have to first believe in the self you have to believe you can acquire that or that you deserve that and if you don't know that initially um, then yeah there's gonna be you know there's gonna be some things that are going to fall uh, whether it be relationships or whether it just be you um, you know having some sort of grand epiphany about yourself or about the connections you are in but i feel a lot of beautiful energy um that is coming in rushing in and i feel like trusting your intuition is going to propel you uh into this very brand new uh venture this new world um this beautiful new life you know i feel like you've gotten yourself this far so it's like you could trust yourself don't waver in that because the moment you waver um you set that intention like you're expecting something bad to happen or you're expecting something not to work in your favor so you got to always stand in that firmness uh stand perpendicular in your square and brave your light stand up for what you believe in that's why meditating before you take action is imperative because it allows you to analyze to scan um you know to assess your your movements your actions you know and perhaps you know making a determination of the outcome um, but that's doing the knowledge on circumstances you have to do the knowledge so um, but let's tap in beloved so that's what I'm picking up let's see what the cards have to say um, but before we do anything let's go ahead and do some house cleaning I'll say I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, Mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beautiful souls. So what time do we have on the Klizok? Right now it is 524. So that is, that reduces to 12. I mean, that reduces to 2. Um... Because that 9 and that 2 reduces to 11, and 11 reduces to 2. Um, at least the way I do the knowledge, I know a lot of people be like, that's a master number, you don't break that down. But uh, in this case, we're going to uh, break it down because that 2 is giving me everything um, that I just expounded on. I'm, I'm feeling there's a decision. I'm feeling that there is um, a choice that you're going to have to make. And let's go ahead and play the playlist. All right. So look what's playing. Isn't this a like this is something else <laughs> because I was just expounding on two. Look what's playing on the playlist. This is the deal. And two occasions is playing. And so it's 524. Like I said, that's 11. And that breaks down 
<coughs> to two. So I was explaining, like, I know how people be like, you know, it's 11. You don't break those down. And I was like, nah, but in this case, I feel like it's a two. And so sure enough, we pull up the playlist, the music, because I, as I said, I'm clear audience. And um, we got two occasions. So when I hear two occasions, that's like two different directions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you, you could have been obligated to two different people and you're expected to be at the same place at the same time. So there's just this, the, which decision, which choice? You're at a fork in the road. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that there's someone perhaps trying to um, incite this confusion. You know, maybe someone is confused because they could have been juggling or maybe they could have been stuck at a fork in the road. Whatever the case, I feel like balance is necessary, which is why I was speaking to meditating to get things straight. The importance of being with the self so that you can make a decision so that you can make not just any decision make the right decision the right choice because if you have someone trying to manipulate your energy because that 11 is also uh, I mean that 2 is also giving me high priestess vibes you know high priestess is all about confusion she's hidden um, she could use her powers for good or bad this could be your energy where you're manifesting and you're being the alchemist so this could be someone else trying to do the same but they're manipulating your energy or attempting to so that's why I was picking up on like you know perhaps paying attention to your intuition using discernment before making decisions uh, not allowing people to come in and make you feel rushed to do something right then and there um, we are not appeasing and pleasing no more beloveds this isn't about trying to be liked like society wants you to believe or you know following other people everything that we are associated with right now is all about relinquishing your will you know, just look at what they call the terminologies, follow. So you got to have somebody following you. So now they're conditioning you to think it's okay to follow others. You know what I'm talking about? Like. Now we're overly concerned about being liked by other people, even if that means being, um, you know, not being our authentic selves. So that's why you see people posting things on you know their their social media platforms so that they can be liked so even if it's not who they are you know what i'm talking about and, and and these are false illusions you know what i'm saying these are fake uh you know personalities but this is what society kind of breeds you and and, and 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 programs you to think you need to do it's literally like that black mirror episode you know what i'm talking about where other people are going to be able to determine uh, you know how cool you are or how successful you are because they have the power in the palm of their hand to to give you a thumb down or to not you know say it's, it's, it's crazy stars and all these things they want you to be programmed to to be focused on what other people think of you or how other people um, feel so that you can feel very um, unimportant you know so that you can feel insecure because now you're comparing your life to other people oh why does this person have 20,000 followers and I sing so much better than her but she is it's just like who cares same for the 15 people that you do have that's liking your videos you know what I'm talking about like if you know that you are doing what you are called to do you keep on mastering your craft and your tribe will appear but you don't need to feel validated by the like, by the subscribe, by the follow. You shouldn't feel that. So I feel like that's something someone could be projecting onto you. And that's why it's important to always protect yourself. You know what I'm talking about? So stay balanced. Stay grounded, beloved. Stay grounded like a tree. Ashe. Uh, so two occasions. So somebody could be like up in their head thinking about you constantly. Or this could be somebody who's in two heads, two minds. You know, like I said, and so we have uh, Nina, uh, who's this? Nina Cherry, and this is called Buffalo Stance. So a buffalo is pretty heavy, and so what? Look at the, oh my, I can't, I cannot, I cannot make. Look what's on the bottom of the numerology deck, beloveds. 22 intuition, and what number started the reading? Two. And now we have 22. So that is 2, 2, 2, 2. So 2, 2, 2, 6. That's your first stop. Because first we saw 2 on the clock. Now we got 22. So that's 2, 2, 2, 6. 
this is someone from your past that could be trying to manipulate your energy or trying to cause some sort of confusion. This could be someone you done moved away from. You are at a distance and it's distance that you created because you were trying to find your peace. You was getting away from all that nonsense because you ain't have no time for it. And you packed up, moved, whether that's literally or figuratively. You moved away from the nonsense, from the bull crap, from the drama, from the negative Nancys, Debbie Downers and the lying ass Larrys, the Fugazis. You got the hell from around that. With Buffalo stance, I feel like, you know, when I think of a buffalo, I was feeling like a heavy energy, like a buffalo stance. So it's just like you can't push a buffalo. You can't move a buffalo. A buffalo is not budging. With a stance, I feel like that was like, you know, somebody is really stuck. You know what I'm talking about? But I also feel you have to stand firm because that stance is about you being in that sense of, you know, spiritual alignment. You know what I'm saying? Standing perpendicular in your in your square, standing your ground. You know, like the buffalo is a spiritual, a very uh, powerful spiritual animal totem as well. And I believe it speaks to protection, uh, spiritual protection, like guardianship. Uh, but with this intuition, this is also telling me like your angels, your guides could be giving you some divine interventions right now, telling you trust your intuition. Some of you could be having some really lucid dreams, really, really um, powerful dreams. Maybe you're seeing uh, certain coding, certain um, uh, symbols that you're trying to make out looking perhaps you're like investigating and researching some of these symbols online some of you could be hearing certain dialect or uh, language like people are speaking certain tones in your dream and you're like trying to decode and decipher that or maybe some of you all just like two occasions because that song is I only think of you on two occasions that day and night so somebody could be literally thinking of you on two occasions day and night which means that could be yes somebody could be thinking of you admirably or that could also mean on the flip side that this is somebody obsessed <laughs> deranged and crazy you don't know talk about you know insane in the membrane type of crazy and they could be thinking of your ass day and night especially with the two you know, I'm talking about the high priestess and they sitting here conjuring up some shit, sending psychic attacks. This could be somebody doing things during witching hours. Um, pay attention, beloved. Intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. I also feel like Spirit is saying like in this... Um, during this um, celestial... These are celestial events. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're going to have to um, make sure that you remain harmonious like this, this is about you being in balance this is not this is everything about you remaining balanced because no one should have the ability to you know to um to move you if you know what i mean because when you're trusting your intuition that's again trusting your inner wisdom is trusting your your um your higher self it's like you know already like okay you could speak energy you know when something is for you and you should know when it isn't and so it's like that's why your intuition is what gets you out of circumstances because you're not allowing your heart to confuse you you know that two two reduces to four so you can't make a decision based off emotion this is really a decision that has to be made uh from you know your so you know psychically so re like this is this this is something that's not playing uh fair so you have to be thinking at a, a more um from your higher self you know what i'm talking about that's why you need to meditate to get things straight as i said the two is about balance that's balancing the yin and the yang you can't be all one thing or else you'll tilt you can't be all, you know, another. So it's like you have to be balanced. So this is really about, you know, you know, meditating to get something straight, contemplating on something, not feeling rushed. You know, this can be in relation to a masculine energy. The four is associated with not only the heart chakra, uh, but this could also be someone that is, you know, like your ex-father, I mean, your ex-father, your ex-husband, a boyfriend, the father to your children, perhaps your own father. Um, maybe this is a boss at the at your job. Uh, perhaps this is just um, a masculine energy. Uh, whoever this person is, I feel like this is someone that you have had a lot of suspicion about. Trust what you feel because whatever you're feeling is accurate. 
because this person has an, a tendency perhaps to emotionally manipulate you because perhaps maybe they know you're empathic or they know that you're a sensitive person or you're uh, compassionate, um, very forgiving or very open to other people. And so this person may use that to their advantage to get what they want. So that's why Spirit is saying, this isn't a time to be all open-hearted and, and oh, just welcoming. Like, this is a time to be wise. You know, that's what I'm hearing, be wise. Because um, we have, um, oh wow, and this is powerful. This song is playing as I'm telling you this. Look what's playing. So this is, um, this is a song, I don't know if some of you all seen that Kanye West um, documentary, I believe it was on Netflix or Amazon, I'm not sure which uh, streaming platform, but this song played at the end and I fell in love with it. It's called Like a Ship. Um, it's called Like a Ship and it's by um, Pastor, dang, what is his name? Hold on, hold on y'all. And his name is Pastor T.I. Barrett and the Youth for Christ um, Choir. And so, like, the lyrics that he says in this is very fitting. So I will put the video in the description because I feel like this is imperative for y'all. Like, y'all really need to hear this. But it's, it's like, just like a ship, um, it, it, it's really saying, um, without a sail, look at that. And it's saying, I know we, I could, I know we can make it. So this is, like, really not wavering. Um you know, not wavering from what you know is real, for what you know in your for in your heart, but also in your mind, in your mind's eye, in your subconscious, you know what's what you need to be doing, where you need to go. Trusting that intuition is very imperative. So I said all of that to say on the split we got eleven again. That's two. So two 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 yet again. So two 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 yet again, trust your intuition. That's just further confirming. Six is associated with the first thought. Six is also giving me the six of swords. So the six of swords is everything I said already. It's about moving forward. But this eleven, you can see that. That's standing firm. That's erect. You know, that one is very, very um it's very um what is the word? Felicious, you know, so it stands erect, you know, so this is really about getting back to the self, getting back to one healing, um, going through a process of healing, learning to be independent, opposed from codependent or, you know, uh, feeling obligated to relationships that don't serve you well. I feel like you could have broken free from someone that could have been very codependent or someone that was just very toxic. Um, that 11, like I said, uh, is giving me like whenever I see double numbers, I feel someone is matching your energy you know this is someone that is matching your energy so that's why spirit is like telling you like look because I'm, I'm hearing like a shapeshifter a chameleon so this could be someone that shows you one thing um, but then they are something completely different so somebody two-faced someone wearing a mask someone that is not a genuine or um, honest person they're not righteous like this this is somebody really um, so those three cards four cards it looks like look at this karmic completion so y'all this is i feel like this is somebody that could be a little salty because uh you don't cut them off you don't moved away like i said this is someone that was exposed um with ship like a ship i feel like you sailed away like you moved on because i was getting the six of swords and if you think of the six of swords in traditional traditional tarot um it's like a boat and it's shipping off getting away from those murky waters um and you know so that some you you can create a more safe space you know create that safe haven uh so let's tap in and see what spirit pumped out so we got love partnership here this is 26 so for some of you you could have moved away from you know an x you know that eight is giving me like the eight of cups and i was just speaking to a ship moving on so i feel like you could have moved away left someone behind because they could have been very salty um very one-sided you didn't feel like the love was reciprocated you felt very emotionally bankrupt emotionally um you know rejected maybe this was uh you know you felt unrequited love you felt uh you know abandoned perhaps in certain circumstances but you all you didn't feel like you was getting what you were giving um so some of you all realize like you know self-love is more attractive and you could have walked away from something that was not honoring you or making you feel valued um i realize i feel like you realize like um you know the importance of 
loving yourself. So you started to do that internal work and discovered like love was an inside job. Someone wasn't loving you right. We have leadership here. So you definitely took control, took the reins back on your life. I feel like this is someone that definitely taught you to be independent because you had someone codependent or you could have been codependent in a relationship where someone could have manipulated things so that you would have to rely on them. Maybe this was a toxic ex um, that came into your life and they kind of, you know, separated you from your family and your friends. Um, so it was only just you and them and your children. Uh, maybe they moved you away from everybody you loved. Um, maybe this was someone who just kind of came in and was really, um, you know, kind of fed you all kind of dreams like, yo, quit your job, I'm going to take care of you. And then when you quit your job and they was taking care of you, they was mistreating you. They was penny pinching you with money. They wasn't coming home. They had other broads. You know, it was just like they, they, they took the, 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 the took the very thing, um, you know, that uh, made you um, unique. They took that from you. So it was like so that you could be dependent on them. So this was someone very narcissistic, very controlling, very manipulative, a gaslighter. Um, and I feel like that's how they were able to, uh, you know, take control or disarm you is because they may have um, literally just manipulated and monopolized the whole situation. And I feel like you took your power back. Like some of you all realize somebody was, was up to no good. And I feel like maybe you was waiting uh, for someone to change. You was waiting for someone to, you know, start reciprocating or to start uh, being more attentive and affectionate or perhaps being more um, intentional with the connection. And it, it was just empty promises. It was just like, yeah, we're going to do better or we're going to do this. And, and nothing ever came of it. And I feel like you finally put your foot down and said, I got to love me right. That's what that, you know, self-love is all about. It's about you realizing like you got to take the reins. That nine is where you started to assess um, your circumstance. You was able to really gain that awareness, that understanding that you got to love you. Um, you can't allow someone else to validate you or to, 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 um, be your crutch. So that's where a lot of this work, you know, that nine I was expounding on earlier is given everything that I was saying, the hermit, um, that's a wizard, you know, whether it's a female or a male, they are wizards and they know the answers they seek are found within, which is why they take that time away from everyone else, all the noise, all the distractions, and they go within, you know, and, and this is a place of, of, of um, solitude uh, so that they can, uh, you know, come out of it going exactly after what they deserve what they desire because they're controlling and 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 taking the reins and making um you know that voyage so it's beautiful and we have music 32 so some of you all could have been like in the lab i'm hearing cooking up some new music um perhaps your producers so you have been recreating sounds coming up with new genres of music maybe you are a singer songwriter so you could be really in the lab really just you know blowing i'm hearing people blowing like blowing baby like you singing um some of you all are like um you know artists period like you may do spoken word uh, maybe you are poets or maybe you are authors you could be scribing right now like writing books um but I'm, I'm really getting a sense of like you all tapping into your divinity um, as that divine feminine, that divine masculine, really discovering what your soul's purpose is, uh, what your life's path is. So there's a lot of, of, of like perhaps going within or maybe you're even going without like seeking like um, knowledge and information, uh, you know, doing your studies with master teachers or researching other master teachers, you know, um, and, and listening to their, um, their audio books on uh, perhaps YouTube, or maybe you're reading now, um, you're reading ancient scriptures, perhaps, Apocrypha, I'm hearing. Um, some of you could be reading the Quran. Some of you could be reading the basic instructions before leaving earth, you know. Um, but I'm, I'm getting a strong sense of like, like tutelage, learning, um, soaking up knowledge, um, being very open to uh, the information and alphamation that, you know, uh, some of these master teachers are disseminating 
praying. Uh, perhaps you are going to a mosque or a temple, um, speaking to pastors, preachers, ministers, you know, um, or maybe you're just even sitting at the feet of the elders in your own family, whether it's your mother, father, an auntie, um, an uncle, a sibling perhaps. But I feel like this is like soaking up knowledge. This is that time of really being in a scholarly energy, um, but beautiful energy. It's also telling me to listen to this song. Um, we have the um, D Destiny's Child, and this is called So Good. Um, so I feel like right now you feel great, like you're feeling the best you've ever felt. And that could be a reason why someone could be very... Um, very disgruntled because it's like maybe this is someone that was really trying to you know like I said take the take take your legs from underneath you like they was really trying to off you out here like they didn't want to see you winning at all like you know how people be like oh people want to see you do good but they don't see you doing good uh, better than them I feel like this person doesn't want to see you do good at all you know what I'm saying and it's so bad that they are now overly obsessed but because things are good for you because you are in a happy place this person could now be refocusing um, their attention on some other ways and means to distract you which is why spirit is telling you trust your intuition because someone may be returning from your past because that six is also like you know that that mercury retrograde type of energy six of cups someone from the past um and we do have love partnership here so this can be someone you left behind or somebody coming back um you know trying to convince you that they want to reconcile and this is going to cause that that confliction you know remember the two well you know going to be conflicted you know you're going to be in two minds and maybe this is somebody that's trying to intentionally do that because remember that two is associated with the high priestess the last card that flew out is happy ending so i mean parrington so parrington uh, i said parrington uh, yeah, it is parenting. I'm tripping, tripping. So this could be, like I said, because remember we saw that four and I was picking up like an emperor, your children's father, maybe your own father, uh, maybe a boss. Some of y'all, this is your baby daddy or your baby mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is, this is who's causing all this angst. This is, you know, the person who is, um, you know, perhaps like very manipulative emotionally. This was that, that narcissistic ex. This is that person that definitely um, did not want to see you thrive. They did not want to see you walk away. This is that person that you left behind and they're very salty about it. This is that person that says, you know, if I can't have you, nobody can. This is that person that doesn't want you, but they don't want anybody else to have you. This is somebody that definitely didn't appreciate you when they did have you. This is that person that could have broke your heart. This is that person that definitely could have been out there cheating and creeping and sneaking, had you in the dark. There was a lot of things going on in the dark. You know what I'm saying? This is an attachment. This is someone that has sick attachments to you, obsession or even possession. But this is definitely somebody that you have had a very painful ending. Um, and they're trying to um, sabotage a new beginning because every ending denotes a new beginning. So this karmic completion is saying that you are wrapping up this cycle whether this person likes it or not. Uh, with this parenting here, I do feel like this is someone you have given chance after chance because they could have been the mother or the father of your child. And this is, you know, someone you finally had that epiphany with. You know, this person could have been talking you around in circles, making empty promises. Because I'm getting like with this 63, which reduces to 9. I'm getting like the 9 of Wands, where somebody just kept telling you what you wanted to hear. You know what I'm saying? It was just like overly just feeding you horse crap. You know, every time something went down, they make another promise. And then you forgive them because you're thinking about the family and you think about all the things they said y'all going to do together, the future. And so you just keep on giving this person chance after chance after chance until you finally said, aha, <laughs> aha, like you saw them, you saw the mask shift, you saw the smile turn to a you know what I'm saying? Turn to like that that little snarl, like that stink face because you done turned your head and caught them. You know what I'm talking about? Like you saw something that made you really, it was like, yo, I got to love me. This person don't love me. You know, they love to confuse me. They love to use me. You know what I'm saying? They love to take advantage. You know, they love to have me in their life because they know um, I'm always giving and I'm always available. You know, you may be, like I said, empathic, caring. You know, sensitive to others. You could be compassionate, forgiving, open, loyal. And they was just using, using you and using you. And using the, ex you know, excuse that, oh, well, you know, we got children together. You know, we got family. 
we got bills together. We got house together. You know, just just kind of like, you know, guilt tripping you. You know what I'm talking about? Like, just making you feel like, you know, your self-worth doesn't matter. Your happiness doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that doesn't matter. But what matters is all this other stuff they was feeding you. And and, and for a while it worked. Because, you, you, you know, nine is like, yo, it, it took a lot for you to get to this nine where you done now. You know, but they, they done made so many promises that you don't even believe a word they say now. It's like they could be like, this is like, you know, the boy that cried wolf type of situation because they could really be going through something. And now it's on you on some. Well, I mean, <laughs> everybody got to everybody got to learn from their, you know, their mistakes. We all have karma that we have to answer to. And if you get in the way of somebody's karma, that could put some karma on your ass. You know what I'm talking about? Like somebody got to learn a lesson on their own. And I feel like that's what that was the straw that broke the camel's back for y'all. You know, you finally had this epiphany, that yellow card. You know, somebody said something one last time that just didn't hit right. I feel like communication, something was communicated to you and you finally saw that person for who they were. There was a lie you caught them in. There was some, 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 uh, you know, there was embellishing. There was something that just, it turned you all the way off. And that's, that was that last stake for you. You know what I'm talking about? And we have um, Aman Omari energy. Yep. So you listened to the energy. You spoke energy. This person's energy was shifty and that's what it was. You was like, I'm done. I'm off that. And that's why this karmic completion is here because you wrapped up that cycle with that cycle. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop calling people names. <laughs> but let's tap in. So let's get one more card because overall energy, what you're dealing with, you know, this is all that came out. We're going to get one more card. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message for the collective. Beloved. Ah, I said happy ending earlier, so I called it. I told y'all things was going to be bright. I told y'all, y'all entering into a whole new, you know, precipice, beloved. Look at the spiritual career. So some of you all, what you've been learning, you've been mastering. This is your anointing. This is your calling. You have been called to do this. Just like I said, that's what you've been doing, you know, with this 32. That's like the five, the hierophant. So that's why I was saying, like, you was, like, mastering your craft, learning in a scholarly energy. This is, like, honing that skill. This is discovering, you know, what your purpose is, your life path is, and you're embarking upon that. And there's going to be a very happy ending for you. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever you've been working on so meticulously, you know what I'm talking about? Because I was getting that nine of pentacles. Whatever you've been working on, beloved, it's like it is going to blow up. It is going to be such a positive um, experience for you because there's just so much expansion. I just feel like things are really expanding for you. I feel like you're going to be doing things that you weren't doing before. Um, and I feel like this is all the reason that someone needs to be hating, to be jealous, to be envious. And that's what spirit is telling you. Like sometimes it's important to, you know, take a step back and, and assess because as we go through cycles, um, we, we always have to be doing the knowledge to make sure everything in our lives are, it fits, you know what I'm saying? And if things no longer fit in your life, just like if there's certain belief systems you may have had in the past, you had to get rid of it. There may be certain people that you got to get rid of. There may be certain, um, you know, locations y'all are in, y'all might have to reconsider moving. You know, maybe you're at a certain job and it's time to reassess what you're, uh, you know, what you're doing at this time. But I, I, I'm absolutely seeing with this eight and nine, so that's nine. I mean, that's eight, eight and five, 13, that's four, four and nine, that's four still, um, and four and six. That's one. Yep, that's that new beginning. You're entering into a whole new precipice, beloveds. And that's why you got this happy ending here. Because this is reaching a level of self-mastery. This 93 reduces to 12, which reduces to 3. And 3 is giving me not only the empress, but that 12 is also giving me the hanged man. So this is really just, you know, having that time. Like spirit putting you in a space where you are, you know, being forced to look at life, to be, you know, to look at situations from a whole different perspective. Um, and I feel like this is what has garnered you all of this, this, this power that you now are exuding, um, you know, and radiating in. Uh, others are seeing you as very attractive, uh, seeing you as very strong, very wise, um, you know, very, very con like confident. You know, there's a difference between being, you know, attractive, you know, but when you have that confidence and, and, and you are just, um, 
you know you're just you have an energy and a presence when you enter a room it's like everybody's eyes are on you you don't have to be the most attractive physically it's just the energy the air of confidence you convince people that's why certain people people be like oh such and such is a handsome how did they bag this one it has nothing to do with physical appearance but it's the confidence that you you know that you walk in that you have that you exude and it it, it, it draws people in it's it's very seductive and so that that's the energy uh that i'm picking up and not to mention like you're seen as royalty you're seen as like queen status king status empress empress status the divine feminine you know that's what that three is that empress you know if you're a masculine that's the divine masculine um look at this as i'm speaking to this look what we have here we got tweets singing beautiful so this is how people see you you know you're absolutely attractive you know and that's enough to make people like i said jealous hateful envious you know that's not a reason to hate folks but that's a reason for insecure people too you know that's a reason for people who you know as i said earlier you know they need the world to validate them and so when people start to project uh, from their own, you know, low vibrational energy and they start projecting that onto you is because this is, that's their vantage point. You know, that, that's how they think of themselves. That's, that's, that's their vantage point. So they can only do to you how they feel about themselves. You know, look at this beautiful. I cannot make this up. Didn't they say you had a happy ending? <laughs> Like, they literally just say, yo, check it out, beloveds. Yo, <laughs> happy ending. And why? Because the door to personal healing and happiness is opening up for you. And it's opening up because you already cleared out a cycle. That karmic completion is showing this is the brand new beginning. Closing out a dark period in your life. With that karmic completion, that card was great. That means there was lies. There was trickery. You was in the dark about a bunch of people that was backstabbing that was just gossiping bumping their gums about you kept your name in their mouth kept your 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 you in their head like you you rented space in people's head you wasn't even thinking about these people on that level but they was very like secretly jealous and hateful and and envious of you you had secret competition out here and some of y'all was sleeping with the enemy beloved it's like literally sleeping with somebody who was in a competition on a whole other level you know on a whole other level but this door is a jar it is a jar you are walking through and entering into a whole new paradigm and this is something that you have manifested and created for yourselves because you took your power back with this leadership you realize that you were the sole controller of your destiny this 34 is giving chariot <laughs> you know what I'm talking about that seven is like the chariot. The seven is also the crown chakra. That speaks to personal growth, coming into spiritual alignment, you know? And so when you are in spiritual alignment, you can only enter, in, enter into, uh, you know, better days, you know? You can only enter into that and enter into your power as well. 53, that's eight. You are the alchemist. This says the magician and the mirror. So you have manifested this by you finding balance. Because remember, the chariot has a yin yang energy, the black horse, the white horse. In order for you to get those two horses to move, you have to first be in harmony yourself. You have to be able to lead. You have to be able to assert yourself. You have to be able to do that so that the horses know I'm going in this direction. I'm, now I got to go to the, because you have to control that. So that's what this is all about. Finding the balance, becoming that alchemist, that magi, utilizing the elements around you as above, so below, as within, so without. You started to speak your intentions. You started to create the change that you wanted to see in the world because you realized that you was leader out here. You was the boss. You manifest destinies. This is beautiful. So divine spirit, let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for the beautiful collective energy. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for the collective energy spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for the collective. And we have war. Don't let no one get you down. And I feel like that is another key component, you know, to, to uh, you know, winning out here and to... Standing clear of all the negativity is to not 
be concerned with what anybody else has to say. You know, the moment you start relinquishing your will or submitting your will to other people, that is your demise because these people can manipulate your energy, you know, and your your your, your you manipulate your energy period, you know, which means that now you're in at their beck and call. They can do whatever the hell they want. And we clearly see somebody's trying to do that now. But when you stay in a high vibration and you keep your head on a swivel out here, which is what trusting your intuition is all about, because that's looking at everything with a bird's eye view. And when you are trusting your intuition, that means you're speaking energy. You could speak energy, feel energy. You could feel the shiftiness and the shakiness and the fakeness and the gaziness. You could feel it all. You could see people speaking with forked tongues. You see it all. And that's what this is all about. Because somebody is at war with you. And I'm hearing a spiritual warfare. So somebody could be, you know, even, you know, manipulating energy, like I said, by means of spells, curses, hexes, root work. Whether this is voodoo, juju, hoodoo, santaria, black magic, whatever it is, that somebody could be utilizing that. Because that high priestess, you know, she could be, I'm telling you, she could be something, boy. And if you aren't keeping your head on a swivel, like Spirit is telling you, then you could get caught up in the rapture. And not in a good way. You could get caught up in the web. You know, a web of lies. A web of illusions. Because you'll be caught by somebody who entrapped you. With the, the, the spells, you know, speaking things. So we have all tied up. See that? Look at that. 2623. Somebody had you trapped. This is not only just trapped, feeling tied down, but mentally, so much going on. And this was not a love partnership. This was somebody that was emotionally manipulating you, keeping you stuck. You feel powerless in this situation. This is literally what I just said. And that's why you said it's time for me to walk away because self-love is more attractive. Sometimes walking away is the best thing you could do. Not even sometimes. When you're entangled in some type of toxic situation like this, where somebody got you feeling tied up or you feel imprisoned or bound, stuck, that is literally, this is like the epitome of, of um, you know, a toxic entanglement. This is the epitome of you know, of um, that narcissistic personality that I was describing. This is the epitome of that. And this is someone you gave to, you kept giving and giving and giving, and they just kept feeding you more lies, more lies. I mean, like, look at her head. It's it's like it, she's wearing this big old headrest because, or a headdress, because it's like that's how much is going on in her mind. Five is associated with the throat chakra, so that is telling me that somebody was just talking a whole lot of crap. They was just talking holes in your head yeah i'm going to do this making promises empty promises five is also dealing with um you know that hierophant as well so this is who taught you you know that karmic lesson that's why you have that karmic completion completion and this doesn't have to just be like a lover i'm hearing this could be even your mother your father you know this could be somebody that you had um just a loving connection with this could even be a friend but there was definitely a very toxic entanglement here. And we have um, Shalimar. And this is called, this is for the lover in you. And so you had to learn to love yourself with that eight and that five. Because 26 is eight and this 23 is five. This is what led to the transformation with the lover in you. That 20, um, I mean that uh, 13 that that reduces to is dealing with death. The death of the old you, the death of the old mindset, concepts behaviors habits even perspective but then the rebirth the regeneration the renewal you know that three that 13 reduces to four which is now associated with the heart chakra so i do feel like ultimately that same person i was picking up before that was like emotionally manipulative and just feeding you lie after lie and just telling you what they wanted you to hear and just gaslighting you and you know, painting all these false, false illusions. I feel like that was the person that you finally realized, I got to love myself. And you walked away because you realized that you was pouring into, you know, a damaged vessel. This was somebody that was not emotionally intelligent. They weren't emotionally available. This was somebody that was not emotional at all. This was somebody that was very disconnected from their emotions. Devoid, perhaps, of emotions. But this is what caused and led to your transformation beloveds 
You're no longer tied up because that four is speaking to you now, healing your heart, healing yourself, opening up your heart chakra. You know, that four speaks to you really growing and healing and recovering. Because I'm getting now the four of swords where there's like this, this um, recuperation period. You're not taking action, but you are assessing. And during your assessment, you're now able to take onus because you're seeing the picture clearly now. Because you're away from all the nonsense. You're away from the distractions. You're away from the manipulator, the master manipulator, or the energy vampires. Or those people who were just, you know, talking holes in your head. The dumpness. You're away from it now. The Four of Swords is like in isolation, recovering. And that's what you did. Started to recover. Powerful. Look at this. Didn't I tell you all fork in the road? With that 81 leadership, there's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make. And I feel like that's the decision you already made, which was to get away from that person that was causing all of this type of confusion in your life. Who needs that? I could love me better than this. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could love me by myself. Like, that's why you said, okay, let me take the reins because where you was guiding me and leading me, I was about to lose myself out here. You know, you, you wasn't leading me to nowhere but to crash and burn. And so now this is the eight, like I said, of, of making the decision. And this eight right here of love partnership, I feel like, you know, you, you definitely was stuck at the, the fork in the road. And we got the train going by, so there's definitely distance that you created. A lot of you all moved away. And I'm hearing that C.C. Peniston, you can just walk. Walk on, keep on. Like, y'all just kept it moving. You know, y'all kept it moving. Y'all made your decision and you're at peace with it. You know, you rocking the red cape. So that speaks to like, that red deals with the um, root chakra. And so that red is just speaking to like, you really uh, taking the time to really heal from any type of trauma, any type of pain. This time... You know, assessing or meditating to get things straight has led to you now being able to make a decision based off of what you have, you know, discovered about yourself. Whatever that onus, you know, I mean, whatever that um, that that uh, discovery was when you were in meditative state, it's like now you're 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 taking action. You're getting out of that space of being indecisive. Somebody's trying to cause this confusion. But spirit reminded you to, to take time to go within. So let's tap in. Why is this 81 leadership here? And we have Steve Miller Bland uh, being fly like an eagle. Beautiful. And we have the temple path here. And that's number 12. So fly like some of y'all could be dealing with somebody named Steve Miller. First, middle, last name. And that eagle is really associated with, you know, the, the whole process and process of, of transformation. You know, you, you go from that, that uh, I believe it's the eagle, um, the phoenix, the eagle transforms into the phoenix. But it's a process uh, referring to just transformation. You know, the eagle is also, they have a sharp eye, you know, and they're, 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 um, they're birds. So this could be communication because you have this door to romance. So some of y'all, because you're so attractive, you're beautiful in someone's eyes. You could be like attracting, you know, a very um, special someone. Your heart chakra is open and it's healed because you've been healing yourself. So now like with this leadership role, like I said, it just makes you very attractive. I'm hearing sexy. I'm hearing fine, like I'm, I'm just getting an energy like with this uh, cage and you can see like the cage has like a key and right outside of that there's a key, if I'm not mistaken on this card, I could have sworn I saw a key before. Well, the right person is going to be able to open this key and I feel like now that you've taken your power back, this is what, you know, because I'm hearing, you know, self-love makes you more attractive. So now that you love yourself, this is making you more attractive. We also have this 33, which is six. So this could be like the lovers. You know, this is giving me like yin yang energy as well, like twin flame. This could be a past life love, somebody that is coming in because that same door that said personal healing and happiness, somebody's coming in to, to love you right. Somebody's coming in because it's destined. You know, this is like a destiny type of love. And with this 12, the temple path, I do feel like this is like alluding to the fact that there's marriage in your future. Because this is usually, you know, these gazebos, I believe that's what they call them. It's usually where they, 
you know, hold like ceremonies, like wedding ceremonies. And I just feel like you're being anointed. You know, there's something that you're being called to do with this temple path. You know, I just feel like it is your life's path and purpose to to do some some something in the spiritual um, arena. Like you you are being called, whether it be music, you know, some of you all could be musicians. Um, maybe it's something to do with sound, maybe a sound therapists, um, you know, even if it isn't music, you know, maybe you are um, healers. So you may use like chimes and bells and singing bowls and, you know, whatever it is. I just feel like this is your calling. And this five and this 12 is, is um, reduces to eight. So I feel like this is like a wish fulfillment. So it's something that you have manifested or something you've been calling in, hoping for. But I also feel like there's, um, this is like, it, 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 it's something cre something that you've either created, maybe you're creative or you're an artistic, I mean, you're an artist, but it's like something in that arena is going to be, uh, is going to be celebrated because with this, it says temple path. And remember what I was saying about the temple and the necessity to, you know, to not only just, you know, during spring cleaning, just worry about cleaning your house, your, the home you live in, but you also got to clean and clear, uh, like your own, your temple, your, your vessel. Um, but with this music, that five, the throat chakra, I do feel like maybe there's someone who is seeing you because 12 is associated with that, that hangman. Someone could be looking at you, uh, from a whole different perspective like they're seeing you in a whole new light because the five is dealing with the hierophant as well so somebody could really be looking at you differently now like seeing you as someone who has like grown you've matured you know you've um you know you just you just went through some major transformation perhaps but let's tap in so we have a tribe called quest so somebody's familiar with your journey you know, I feel like this is somebody that's familiar with your journey. Thank you, spirit. So we got carnal copia. Some of y'all are going like fortune, fame. I'm hearing like the money is going to be pouring in, beloved. You're going to be supplied. Like this is blessings. Blessings upon blessings. You got love and you got carnal copia. This is like a harvest. And this is also 11. This is coming straight from the divine, your angels and your ancestors. I was telling y'all, I was feeling like a, a wish fulfillment coming in. That's definitely a wish fulfillment. I feel like y'all are, are you're, there's answers to your prayers. And we have this journey. And this this is saying like you've been on a very, uh, like this, this journey with the mother father to your child or perhaps your own mother and father or maybe just a maternal energy you've been on this journey for a while and now you're choosing to walk away you're leaving that person behind you're leaving that circumstance behind because you you've realized in you know the dead weight and because you're leaving it behind i feel like that's why there's this reward you you have packed up your bags you know and you are venturing off into a whole new world and this is a decision that you have made see that i can't make this up look at it look at that you chose to walk away i can't make this up this says what it says walking away and when you got journey and walking away together these are two cards talking about leaving you're leaving this person some of y'all are leaving a marriage some of y'all are not going to continue uh, dealing with the mother or father to your child regardless of what they throwing at y'all and with this strategy I, I feel like spirit is telling you to be very very hush you know be very quiet about the moves you're making don't be making announcements before leaving because somebody could try to sabotage why is the 63 parenting here oh snap see I can't make this up I cannot make this up and we have appreciation. This person definitely, they don't appreciate you. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't value you. And I feel like that crushed you. This person treated you like an option. But this was only to, to make you feel less than. 
because you are definitely like a queen you know you've made major transformations you have grown tremendously but this person tried to like diminish you but you have like someone that is going to appreciate you that's coming in look at this I'm going to show you all what's on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's going to be broken hearted too. Because you're coming into a real connection. Look at that. That 22 in this deck is yin yang. Remember the 22 that showed up in the numerology was intuition. So spirit is telling you to trust your intuition. You got a loving, caring connection that's coming in. And this person will value you. I feel the person that you had in the past did not value you. But that was a part of their master plan or their narcissism or their gaslighting or their love bond it was like it, they they wanted to like um gas you up so high like they could have been like love bombing you heavy in the beginning doing everything pulling out all the stops taking you on all these beautiful vacations staycations you know they could have been sending you flowers to your job they could have been doing everything and then when it got to a certain point in the relationship all that stuff could have stopped and they could have just started pulling away, started to get more distant, and you started to feel like something was wrong with you. That's why I said this person was manipulative. They did this ish intentionally, like they made y'all feel like you was small. And so you began believing the ish they was telling y'all. But spirit was like, yo, this person, you got to, you know, stay balanced because they throw you off. They threw you off balance. They threw you out of equilibrium. And you had to learn to love yourself. Because if you love yourself, then you're going to be able to decipher when somebody is loving you wrong. If you don't have no reference point, then I mean, you know, but you got, that's why you got to love yourself. That's why love is an inside job. And I feel like that's what was going on. But check this out. This is what actually flew out. So you have envy. Now, I told y'all, y'all had an envious baby mama or baby daddy, or maybe your mother or your father or maternal energy. Jealous of you. They're jealous. Jealous why? Of your shine. They're jealous of your strength. They're jealous of your confidence. They're jealous of the way that you radiate. They're jealous of the fact that you are actually a kind, good-hearted person. They hate the fact that you are well-liked. They hate the fact that you are accomplished. With this second chakra, Archangel Uriel, this is someone that was trying to take your power. They were trying to take your control, like take control of you. They wanted you to submit your will to relinquish your control over to them. This is somebody, because the, this, the second chakra, this is really about moving to the beat of your drum. When you have somebody envious that's watching you, this is the type of person that will lie. You know, that's why I was saying like a shapeshifter. You know, somebody that was like wearing a mask. So only this person, you know, somebody that's a shapeshifter or somebody wearing a mask, they have to be beguiling, you know, when they're in your in your presence. And so maybe they said things so that you can feel insecure about yourself, so that you would second guess yourself, so that you wouldn't do certain things that you knew you should do. And you wouldn't go after certain dreams and aspirations because you had this hating, envious person in your ear like... I don't think that's a good idea going back to school because don't it cost a lot of money? Like this was that type of person or yo, I'm thinking about moving. Oh, you know, it's dangerous out there. You sure you want to move? Like this is that negative person, but they were really envious of you. And, and, you know, and just the mere fact that you had options out here and they sitting here, they got options, but they're, they're choosing. This is deflecting or projecting. This is the, that very energy I was speaking of. And so this is why you have these angels around you because they're protecting you from this negative ass ish it they this is the person see that too this is the person that was causing all that confusion this is that person that had you like stuck at the fork in the road this is that that freaking high priestess energy a hidden snake because that's what the two is dealing with this is somebody that is sitting there conjuring up some ish but your angels are showing up you know what i'm talking about your angels are showing up they're jealous of the fact that you got the door to value here. So there's opportunities. This person is trying to sabotage that. See, oh my God, look at this, the indecision. That's why spirit was saying, trust your intuition because you may have somebody that sees what is coming in for you. They see what's in store for you. You know, they're hidden and they're trying to sabotage it. So they may come back, pop up on the grid. You know, just to cause confusion, just to have you stuck. You know, whether this is your children's father, children's mother, whether this is your own mother or father, they're trying to cause this. They're trying to have you stuck. That's why Spirit said from the gate before the cards even came out the box, they was like, trust your intuition. Do not waver. 
look at this appreciation when you step into your spiritual career doing what you were destined to do there's going to be appreciation and adoration for your gifts for your time this 15 breaks down to six you're highly psychic you could be clairvoyant clairaudient you could be you know a channeler you could be an intuitive and empath but you are very strong like psychically cerebrally you are very in tune tapped in that could be what you will be um you know barking upon if you are uh starting businesses maybe you already have you know some sort of um platform so let's tap in. Why is this 78 spiritual career here for my beautiful collective family? Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Daughter personal healing and happiness came right back out. So yes, whatever you're embarking on, this is leading to your happiness. This is what you're called to do. This is what you're destined to do. You know, because this 78 breaks down to 15, that's 6. And this 7, that breaks down to 13, that's 12. I mean, that breaks down to 13. And this is your, uh, this is what you're destined to do, what you're called to do, beloved. That's what this is what this is basically saying. You went through all of this transformation just to get back here, you know, just to get back to what you were called to do, because this eight and this 23 that breaks down to 13, this six and the seven also breaks down to 13. So you went through this. Not only did you go through it, you grew through this because this is what has transformed you all into embarking upon this spiritual career which is leading you to happiness to healing not only are you healing but you're also helping others to heal so however you've had to come out of this circumstance whatever lessons whatever you have implemented in your life to heal from this this is what you may perhaps be sharing with the soul tribe soul family but you all many of you all this spiritual career card has been coming out a lot and we have this garden and the gate, and this is three. And so this is someone that's definitely, um, you know, secretly planning. You know, this is an immature person. You know, this person doesn't realize that it's done stinking and buried. You know, with this world card, you have already graduated. Like, you on a whole different level with yours. You know, that, that just speaks to you learning, uh, you know, how to not only navigate, uh, you know, this dimension, but you've also, you know, have like completely reached that level of self mastery. You've gained a different, you know, a deeper, more profound uh, in a standing of you, in a standing of life, in a standing of your relationships, your circumstances. Like you're on a completely different plane with it. You know what I'm talking about? You're also distant. You know, th this person is out of your league. They're sitting here thinking about you constantly like they're sitting here thinking about you. But you look at you, you know, this this just speaks to your wise dome, you know, what you have had to do to reach this level of status. Like you had to work on yourself. And I feel like that's why there's this energy of someone constantly trying to cause confusion, you know, in your life, because they're trying to convince you that you aren't something that we could clearly see you are. And they're also trying to sabotage you know, this, this abundance, you got carnucopia and the door to uh, value. You have the door to romance. You have the door to personal healing and happiness. And we all know when you see a door and, and it's a jar, it doesn't stay a jar forever. And that's why spirit is telling you, like, don't let somebody come in and sabotage a situation for you and have you questioning something that's meant for you. Because this is only somebody causing confusion. That's why I said you. it's imperative to you know meditate so you can get things straight so that you can see you know that devil for who they are so you can see you know or feel that energy vampire for who or what they are so we have my deck and then we're gonna wrap it up after we clarify these messages so on the bottom of my deck we got sacred space offerings honor your ancestors guides spirit team so your spirit team is without a question and a shadow of a doubt protecting you guiding you and leading you on this this path that you can't do this alone you know what i'm talking about there were times when you didn't know how you got this through something it was because it wasn't you it was spirit your angels your ancestors carrying you through those circumstances so this energy right here is speaking to the necessity of setting up altars you know giving your ancestors and your guides offerings 
you know, whether it be pouring libation, giving them flowers, lighting incense, putting some, uh, you know, anointing oils, uh, whether it be making plates of food, of their favorite foods, um, you know, especially like on their feast days, their solar returns, like acknowledging them. Maybe if they were smokers, putting tobacco smoke, I mean, uh, you know, smoking some tobacco and blowing it on the altar or maybe even leaving a pack of cigarettes on your altar. Like there's so many different ways, burning ancestor money. There's so many different things you can do. And so many different ways you can show um, appreciation. And this is something spirit is telling you to do. You have to devote more time, perhaps uh, developing that relationship and that connection to your guides. But I do feel like they do, um, they, they, you need to work more with your, with your altars. If you don't have them, then perhaps you need to, uh, some of you all may not even have an altar. And you don't have to do anything elaborate. I have about three uh, altars in my home. Uh, actually about four or five. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of altars in my home, but um, it's, 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 it's just a sacred space. You know, it's just a space that you, you uh, dedicate, you know, um, to a specific deity or angel or ancestor um, that you know has been very, um, you know, very um, helpful in your journey. Uh, they've been very present, perhaps. Maybe there's certain ways that they let you know that they're with you, whether it be you may see their name on a license plate or their may, name may come up, you know, or maybe a number that's associated with them, a time, uh, whatever it may be. Um, they will let you know. They will give you those nudges that it's them. They'll visit you in your dreams. Uh, so whatever ancestor or whomever it is you feel that connection with, uh, light a candle for that ancestor. Put a picture up on that, you know, that space. Um, find out what their favorite food is and, and, and purchase it and place it there. Uh, or what symbols or what numbers and just, you know, every day take time to acknowledge them. Every day light a candle. Um, and, and just acknowledge their presence because that that builds you know that that strength that builds also that relationship uh, that you have um, with your ancestor and they are more um, privy to coming to your aid when you call them you know what I'm talking about so we have on the bottom of the deck it says celibacy no self pleasure maintaining self control so a lot of you all could be abstinent at this time abstaining from sex um, maybe you have been tempted feeling tempted to self pleasure uh, and spirit saying uh, maintain self control if you have been um, you know feeling yourself kind of going over to the dark web looking at all of them porno sites and all that you know spirit is telling you like maintain self-control because that too could be a way that this energy this high priestess could be trying to manipulate your energy you know once you become um once you open yourself up to that lower vibration you know it, it's easier for them to do whatever they're doing uh and so you have to maintain uh you know that armor of protection by not um, engaging in, in any type of, uh, you know, masturbation and, and, you know, doing all of that, like, and looking at porn and all that, like, nah, like, maintain that self-control, Ashe. So let's see what flew out. So you have believe you can and you will. So I feel like this is exactly how you was able to get through um, this ending, this ending which felt like a death because 13 is the death card in traditional tarot and death hurts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think death is a, a beautiful experience. So this was something that you had to really like persevere through this. This was something that you were praying to your angels, your guides, asking them for the strength to endure, to overcome. And they did. You believed also in your ability to overcome this and you did. So this is also why uh, spirit is blessing you with this, this carnucopia and this door to personal healing and happiness and this door to value and bringing love into the equation. Um, we have here cowards run from a problem, not towards it. If they wanted to, they would have fought for you. So this is another energy um, that I feel like you was dealing with. Uh, this person could have rejected you, like I said, uh, maybe unrequited love. Maybe there was some things that this person was uh, trying to project onto you to make you feel like you were the problem, uh, where in, you know, when, when the truth of the matter was they were the problem. Um, this is that type of person that maybe made you feel low self-esteem, uh, very confused, um, because they kept you bound uh, in their lies. They kept you bound in, you know, some sort of uh, web of lies deceit trickery 
uh, could have backstabbed you, but this was definitely a coward. Um, this was definitely someone who uh, was also envious and jealous of you out after you've come out of this. Because somebody who thinks that, you know, they're smart and, uh, yeah, she ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Look, I got them stuck there, but you, you broke free. You know, I feel like you broke free because, you know, it was like I said, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. The, you could have saw something you needed to see. And that was um, that, uh, you know, love was an inside job. You got to love yourself because this wasn't love. You know what I'm talking about? And so we have Oshun, and this is called East. So some of you all could live on the East Coast. Um, some of you all could live in, you know, Asia, um, maybe in the Middle East. Uh, maybe this is... Um, I feel like with Oshun, definitely you're 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 very beautiful, very attractive. Uh, so somebody could be like you know self pleasing themselves because they could be looking at pictures of you. As I said, you know, definitely somebody obsessed and possessive. Uh, but somebody could be just like jacking off or getting off um, to you because they see because uh, Oshun is a very beautiful, very attractive, very fertile feminine energy. She is one of the Orishas, uh, so that could be you know uh, another. Um, indication that you have like a perhaps you know a little uh, secret admirer on your hands you know this could be somebody that you even know um somebody that could be from the past like i said a past life love perhaps you know with that six that could be the lovers you know this is somebody that's definitely destined to be in your life or somebody that feels like you the yin to their yang yang to their yin cosmic companion twin flame soulmate but they feel something very very strong synergy chemistry perhaps maybe there's a likeness like mind this could be somebody that's on the same love frequency or somebody that could be just uh you know very stimulating uh communicatively but i definitely am getting a sense of somebody like really just you know maybe they 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 going at it you know thinking of you perhaps but let's see why is this 81 leadership 33 door to romance here for the collective they have a message of peace power and protection spirit thank you spirit and we have on the bottom of the deck we have mental health matters. Stop overthinking. So somebody is definitely up in their head. They are obsessed. I'm hearing obsessed. And we have avoid the gossip circles. Whoever gossips to you, gossips about you. Know that. So definitely, whatever this energy, you know, whatever this energy is that's gossiping, I feel like it's because you're embarking upon a new relationship. Um, just as I said, like whoever this is, this could be like a shapeshifter. Um, that's hating on you like because that that high priestess energy keeps coming up in my mind's eye so I feel like this is somebody that could be coming to you um, and trying to sabotage situations by planting negative thoughts in your mind perhaps there's someone new coming in and this person is gonna be like oh girl what if that's a stalker what if that's a, a deranged killer and it's because they know deep down this is someone special because this person is doing readings on you or they doing their, you know, due diligence to keep tabs with your energy. So this person perhaps may have gotten readings on you or may have done something themselves and they can see what's coming in, which is why they're trying to sabotage it. But if you see here, this leadership and this door to romance spirit is telling you to take the reins, to love yourself, to be open, to be receptive, to not uh buckle to this nonsense here listening to somebody bump their gums because they're really jealous and they're really envious you know of what you got coming in this person is really looking at your situation and and praying and hoping that it doesn't work out for you that's why spirit is like look you know remember who you are you're the sole controller of your destiny don't let anybody come in and you know uh usurp your 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 life don't let anybody come in and, and do anything undermining when this is exactly what spirit is sending to you. Because when you see that six, the lovers, there's an angel that's overseeing that union, which means that it's preordained and it's destined. It's written in the stars. But this hater is going to come in your ear talking about, oh, you know, oh, that relationship, you know, that relationship ish is that I ain't checking for no man. I ain't checking for no dude. Like, dude, you really trying to get in a relationship? Like, yo, it's summertime. Like, yo, we supposed to be out here going, you know what I'm saying, going and picking up the ladies. Like, don't don't get caught up in the rapture, beloveds, because this person is trying to confuse you. They're trying to have you stuck on like, damn, should I do it? Should I? Because remember, you also have this here. 
Some of y'all, it could be your own children's mother or children's father. They could be coming back trying to convince you, like, yeah, they, you know, they really want to work things out, but they really just want to, you know, usurp or distract you off a path that they know you're meant to go on. Remember, the ten of uh, completion showed up, which means the cycle's done. Like lessons have been learned. You know what I'm saying? And Mercury retrograde is a time where people make the mistake of repeating the same lessons because they go back to some ish they done left. It's like, what kind of motherfucking part of my language? What kind of ground are you covering going backwards? Like, you know, what, what are you doing? So with this mental health matters, somebody is crazy deranged, just like I said, up in their head, conjuring up this sick plan to have you thrown off your track or to, to block your blessings. But remember, we had happy ending on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you peep game, which is because you listen to your, you know, spirit tell you to trust your intuition. So let's tap in, beloveds. So why is this 32 music, carnucopia here for my beautiful collective energy? May I have a message of peace, power and protection. Thank you, spirit. And we have Mama, look at that. And Oshun was just uh, playing. And so it says, Mama Oshun, beauty, love, attraction. You sexy thing, you. And didn't I say the word sexy earlier? Like I felt like somebody felt you were sexy. Yes. And so it says, stress, kill, destroy, stress. And how are you doing that? By staying busy, baby. You know, by learning, by growing, by mastering your craft, honing your skills discovering your purpose your life path your mission this is you being busy this is you learning this is you doing the knowledge soaking up game soaking up information outformation that's you being very busy and not having time for the nonsense you know this is exactly what that is and that's why you're being bliss because there was a lot of things coming at you at once a lot of things trying to distract you off your your path and you could have been under a lot of you know pressure a lot of stress agony some of y'all was dealing with you know some mental anguish perhaps maybe you were dealing with depression but you killed it says stress kill destroy stress that's what you did you killed destroyed the stress you got got you got rid of it and it's because you started to cleanse you probably did some spiritual baths and broke some of them hexes and curses and yokes and some of that nonsense that was being thrown at you by that damn witch or that warlock or whoever you had on your heels but you cleansed yourself. You started to awaken. You started to purge those thought processes. You started to see things clearly because you took the time to meditate, to connect with yourself. And we have Road Design playing by Damian Marley. So a lot of you all started to read your basic instructions before leaving Earth. Or you started to really start going to those master teachers or those pastors. Or you started to really speak to, you know, some of those healers and shamans and Sufis and you started to really gain that knowledge of self they had they led you to seeing the truth as well maybe they led you to the scripture which you know broke the curse that you was under whatever the case may be I definitely feel like there was a cleansing there was a deep cleansing and some of you all are very fertile at this time feminine so you might want to be very careful with who you lay with. Don't let your baby mama or baby daddy convince you to have just one night of intimacy because remember what the card said before. It said celibacy. So continue to maintain and abstain from sex because that is also is um, you know sex people don't realize it's a very sacred ritual. It's literally a ritual. It's, it's a very powerful um, you know um, technique to manifest, to draw in, and it's supposed to be used to procreate. And when you just laying with anybody, any old dusty, dirty, you know, no moral having ass person, you're you're literally laying with demons. That's that's that incubus succubus. So spirit is telling you to be celibate. Don't let your baby daddy and baby mama wine and dine your ass and have you on your back. <laughs> Because I'm telling you, it's 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 definitely a trap, beloved. It's giving trap. So, you know, you are very attractive at this time and you're also very fertile. And this person could be trying to trap you. They could be trying to impregnate you, planting a seed. And then that means you're stuck again. Wow, powerful, powerful. Give me one moment. 
sorry y'all my bad beloved and so yeah so just pay pay attention you know assess so let's see why is this 63 okay this card just flew over there and we have support system the village people you can trust and depend on in a crisis and that's going to be when we pull this card here for 78 spiritual career oh i love it look at that protection from secret enemies see that protection from secret enemies so whoever this is just like i said your angels are protecting you this is definitely a preordained situation that you are coming into so you are protected beloveds i feel like some of you are also um need to continue to straight you know like just tighten up your your protection um if you're doing spiritual baths make sure you just double up on the numbers like make sure to do your spiritual baths make sure to do egg cleanses i would do egg cleanses at least every three months on some real like not even holding you i'm not even gonna hold you beloved because you you come into contact with people every day all day and if you're empaths your your energy gets affected by that you know you you get affected by the 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 energy that crosses your path especially if you you're into spiritual work if you are providing any type of service or you are picking up on other people's energy like it weighs you down so you do have to have a means and method to you know again releasing that you know getting rid of that energy um but you are definitely protected uh from whoever this is whoever this envious person is uh trying to cause angst and confusion uh trying to have you mentally conflicted um, they're literally trying to cause you to go crazy, I feel, because we did saw that mental health uh, matters card. And I feel like this is somebody that was really trying to cause um, mental angst um, because they really uh, were working on you. You know, not only did you feel stuck, you could have been stuck in this situation for a very long time. Um, and you finally broke free. You finally, uh, you know, received... Um, you know that that download you know that you needed to to cut yourself free from this person and i feel like it's because your ancestors with this support system this is also speaking to your spirit team your guides your angels you know also protecting you from your secret enemies uh from your hidden enemies but this also speaks to you also establishing those boundaries as i said and with this support system i definitely feel like a lot of you all are building like a family you know building like that tribe um you know uh so that you all can lean and rely on one another you know it's not about anybody leading the other everybody comes to the table to add on to build so you're you're really starting to develop relationships and connections with people that are going to be there for the long haul because this is your your soul tribe your spirit family um and this is what you were called to do this is what's destined you know and because of that this door to healing and happiness is a jar it's open and this is bringing in a lot of opulence and growth carnal copy is here the door to value and love you may meet your spiritual partner someone that's destined to be in your life doing something you love because this 13 breaks down to four so if you're a feminine energy that means that you could be coming into a very uh special uh love ship if you're a masculine energy same thing is applicable you could be meeting your divine feminine in this new phase this new junction and it is literally going to be a very happy time in your life uh this is going to be someone that's a rock they're going to be someone you could depend on someone you could rely on someone very open and honest someone that's about family as well has the same values same principles so this is gorgeous reading collective i love it so let's tap in why is the 78 so a card fell down it says it says empath problems it's two people the outside so what did i just say about the necessity of cleansing your energy because when you are working in the field um you know where you are helping others through their trauma or breaking curses and you know whatever you may be doing it's like you do as an empath take on other people's energy so some of you all may need to you know do a little reset recharge you know that four is also given the four of swords where you may need to take a break just to recover to recuperate um you know maybe go to a body of water and perform like an oshun ritual um call on mama oshun give her an offering uh she loves yellow so you could bring yellow roses um you could bring uh some perfume pineapple apple um but you can give her an offering um and just ask you know for you know her to cleanse you to protect you you could also do um you know a ritual to mama yemenya 
in uh, the ocean as well um, because she is all about um, the family she protects the family uh, she's also that that maternal energy um, so that's a beautiful energy some of you all have a mother or a mother figure bringing love into your life but also bringing this this um, uh, this new this new um, this new path that you're embarking upon it's like they're presenting this they're they're conspiring behind the scenes uh, so we have reinvent yourself new wardrobe haircut hairstyle massage mani pedi henna tattoo this is about self-love self-care because you now know your self-worth so spirit is telling you like some of you all could be like doing something real risky this summer like some of y'all if your hair's been long for years like you have known to just have long hair since you was a child some of y'all are going to shock some folks this summer and you're just going to cut it down low um you're going to have that angela bassett haircut in how stella got her groove back um uh, not stella got her groove back but um waiting to exhale when she went and cut off all her hair after her man cheated and left the for you know who so it's really it's like you know you literally going to do something real like shocking it's just i'm it's just giving that shock value it's just it's just that energy of like oh snap like you know you just look different out here and it's beautiful it looks good on you um even if you're masculine uh you know maybe some of y'all are shedding some pounds i'm seeing like brothers in the gym hitting the treadmill um you know lifting weights you know what i'm talking about like just just really taking care of the self the vessel the body um doing more to to um you know to 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 uh to 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 um to nurture yourselves but this is beautiful let's get one more card for the 78 spiritual career and daughter personal healing and happiness why is that card here for my beautiful collective and then we're going right out thank you spirit so we have in the bottom of the deck ask for what you need closed mouths don't get fed so learn to ask you know i'm talking about like pride isn't a good thing to have if you need something ask for it uh because according to the card Closed mouths are not going to get fed, so be mindful. Uh, Shay, so we have worry her spirit. You've defied the odds. So a lot of you all, you know, some of you feminine energies have been through the mud. You've been through the worst of the worst, but you have braved your light. Uh, whoever was doubting you, <laughs> jokes on them, Jack. Like, you literally showed out. And they looking at you like, I can't stand that beat. I can't stand his ass. Like, look, you think he all of that. That's why that envy is there. Because everything they threw at you, every roadblock, you know, every every gas lighting, uh, you know, circumstance, situation you experience with this person, it's like you finally saw the light. You know what I'm talking about? You finally saw the light. And it says, treat yourself, you deserve it. Self-love is the best love. And I think that's exactly what I said was you put you first. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you giving and giving and giving to somebody, that ish gets old. You know, at some point in the game, you want to be able to be like, okay, they they gave me something in return. Like it was reciprocal. Like at that point, it became reciprocal. But no, it was just you constantly going above and beyond, appeasing, over-pleasing. And it just got old to you because you realize like... You're pouring into something damaged. You know, if you get a glass or a cup, you know, and it has holes in it and you're pouring into it, the cup is never going to get full. So whoever this person was, they were never satisfied. They didn't appreciate all the ish you did. And you did a lot. You did so much that you had to tell yourself, like, okay, I got to get out of here. Because, <laughs> like, they didn't even push you away. It was just their constant lack of, of, you know, giving to the situation. There was no equal give and take. It was just you give, 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 give. And they could not see beyond their needs. And that got old. And it's because you was dealing with Judas, a liar, master manipulator. This is what this is. When somebody's jealous and envious, oh, yeah, they're going to lie. They're going to lie to kick it. They're going to say everything they think you want to hear until your first eye opens up and you see them for who they are. But this is what you was dealing with. So with empath, I feel exactly like I said. You was dealing as an empath with somebody who was constantly lying. You know, this is that emotional manipulator, that person that plays on your emotional strings, know that you're caring, know that you're compassionate, and know that you give a damn. And so they come to you every time with a sob story. But they never come to ask how you're doing. They never come to 
add to the situation. It's always a takeaway. They always need some shit. They always asking for some shit. Pardon my language, but this this is the type of energy. There was a straight Judas. They had you feeling like you was going crazy. That's why you was up in your head stuck. But not anymore, beloveds, because you have moved on. The world card on the bottom of the deck, you done done Finn, and you looking to travel. Some of y'all are relocating, moving out of the country on that ass because you're stepping into bigger and better. Remember the 11 was the individuality card in the numerology deck. This is what this is. This is you standing on your own too, standing perpendicular, learning that your independence is the foundation for your stability and your security, which is why you're now elevated, which is why you've reached that level of self-mastery, which is why spirit is now saying you are deserving of this reward, carnucopia. You're not just eating for today, you're eating for all of your tomorrows, and not only you, but your legacy. You're leaving some for your, your, your legacy. This is beautiful, beloveds. And that's one thing that these hating ass people can't take away, is that you were called for this. You were anointed. You were chosen for this. Beloveds, this, that, that, that's what they're hating on. They're hating on the fact that you are anointed. Hating on the fact that this is what's guaranteed is that you have this door to personal healing and happiness. And it's because why? Well, you've earned it, regardless of it saying warrior, her, warrior, you know, for the masculines. But you've defied some odds here. They didn't expect this because this is how they had you for quite some time. They had you stuck on stupid, stuck on insecurity, stuck on self-doubt, self-hate, spirit of lack. That's what they had you stuck on until you started to speak those positive affirmations. You sent up those prayers, petitions to your angels, ancestors, and they called. They answered the call. But this is your reading, beloveds. You are protected from your hidden enemies. Know that. Your secret enemies. Know that. And uh, definitely do everything that I said in terms of like building your altars and taking those spiritual baths, cleansing your home, you know, fasting, meditating, go to a body of water. Give an offering to an angel ancestor that you work with. Tuesdays, which is today, is Archangel Mikael's Day, Michael. So it is a beautiful day to start the Tuesday nine-week ritual to Archangel Michael. And um, if you are doing that, that's a beautiful thing. But definitely uh, trust your intuition, beloveds. That somebody's trying to come back to play you all for Boo Boo the Fool. All right? But I thank you all so much for tuning in and tapping in to the platform if you enjoyed the reading if my energy resonated with yours if you vibe with me then please be kind hit the like button that's how you pay it forward on this platform um and definitely subscribe if you so feel uh inclined and to all of my beautiful beloveds that are returning thank you so much you already know what it is love is love is love is love gave you some extra love because i love y'all that much till next time peace